now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Gorgeous viewer photo sent in. Today's photo, this is uh, from Benderson Park over the weekend. Lynn sent this one in. Gorgeous for the uh, Invitational Regatta. Absolutely beautiful weather. And another one at uh, Siesta, the Drum Circle. Lynn sent this one in. Beautiful evening last night as well along the coastline. And my little moment of zen from Arthur Conforte. The Gulf waters out there. Absolutely beautiful with the sec setting sun. Nice, nice shots. Good way to start a morning. Temperatures out there, very pleasant. Coming in near the 70 degree mark everywhere. 67 Sarasota Parish, Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch at 68. Mayaka comes in a little warmer at 67, 69 degrees in Inglewood, 68 degrees in Venice, and 70 degrees at Longboat Key. As we progress through the morning, you may notice a little bit of extra humidity in the air. Dew points are still in the mid 60s. Temperatures a little cooler though, so temperature and dew point pretty close together. We're looking for a southeast wind to continue today, and that southeast wind may help to increase the humidity just a bit. In fact, it'll probably even start to turn a little bit more to the southwest. We'll discuss that in a second. 9 a.m. temperature comes in at about 74, 79 degrees by 12 noon, and then by 3 p.m. 83 degrees, another day spent in the 80s here on the Sun Coast. As I mentioned, February will be an all-time record warm month. No doubt about it, just absolutely shattering the old record, I think, uh, set in the 30s. Uh, 83 degrees coming in at 7 p.m. We have across the deep south an area of storminess, uh, rain showers, and maybe even some stronger storms as well, kind of closing in on Atlanta a little bit later in the afternoon. But all in all, there's so far no airport delays at any of our major airport hubs that serve the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. So things look pretty good for us in terms of travel this morning. Uh, there were a few scattered showers around last night in interior sections, and there may be again this afternoon. But I think along the coastline, we should stay dry. Winds generally coming out of the southeast switch a little bit more to the uh, south as we head into the afternoon. May pick up an isolated shower or two in inland areas as we head into the lunchtime hours and thereafter in the afternoon. Temperatures will be close to the 80 degree mark by lunch with an onshore wind beginning to develop southwesterly wind. A little bit of fog forming during the overnight and we could have some fog issues along the coast tomorrow morning. Certainly not out of the question. And then as we head into the uh, afternoon, I think everything will clear out pretty nicely and it'll be another kind of beautiful day tomorrow, although there'll be a little extra cloud cover around and maybe a chance of some showers caused by a frontal boundary. The frontal boundary itself actually stalls out just across North Florida, but as high pressure builds in back behind that, it kind of pushes that front south as a very ragged cold front that falls apart. That'll just help trigger off a chance at an extra shower or two around tomorrow afternoon. But no colder air with that particular front. Still warm, mostly dry, but then we will get another front that'll bring us a cooler weekend. You can see that dry air in place on the water vapor imagery is this tan contour. That means that the front that will be approaching tomorrow just doesn't have a lot to work with. So the best we'll be able to hope for is about a 20% chance of showers, if that. And then uh, watch what happens in the extended range. Southeast wind comes in at about 10, switching to the southwest at about 10, two foot seas, light chop. And look at this extended range forecast. I think you're going to like it. Warm weather lovers, for the next couple of days, you'll be happy. Temperatures will be in the 80s with only slight chances of rain showers on Tuesday and Thursday, the two T days of the week. And then as we head into the weekend, watch what happens to the temperature. Drops into the mid 70s with overnight lows in the 50s. That's about, by the way, where it should be at this time of year.